Mm-hmm. What? This is a good song. Or are you saying it's not? See, you like it too. Join in on the humming. Uh, hey guys. Um, I need to tell you something. I should have told you earlier, but I forgot. Well, you see... First, I need Ava to not freak out on us, or her. You have to promise me, David. Please, keep her in line. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> uh, Mars and I are together. We are dating. It's been about two weeks now. We are happy together, and that's all that matters to us. But since you guys are our friends, we wanted to tell you. Ava, I know you are friends with Olivia, but she made her choice and now she needs to move on and leave me alone. We are adults, so we must act like it. So, please. Wait, what? Uh, ugh, you're the worst. Why didn't you tell me? Little hint, little warning. Fair, I wasn't sure either. It's been confusing and frustrating at the same time, but now everything makes more sense. And like I said, I generally hope everyone acts like adults about this. <laughs> we are. So, let's have fun on this trip, alright? <laughs> alright, I'll make a quick stop at this gas station, so if anyone wants anything, now is the time to tell me. You got it, babe. And you three, anything? The same as her? So, soda and chocolate bars. Alright, I'll be right back. No teasing her, alright? Mm. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. You are the best. Hey, is everything okay over there? That's good. Here's your soda and the bars. And here's yours, guys. I don't know, maybe an hour or two or so? Why? If you want to do something, play a game or something, you can. However, I need to pass since I'm driving. <laughs> well, yes, I have to. I don't want to crash. And Ava, stop glaring at me. If you have something to say, say it. <sighs> Thanks, babe. Your hand is always comforting. I'll help with the game if you need it. Oh, wow. This place is beautiful. Nature always is. 
But still, let's set our tents and we'll see what time it is then. Then we can figure out the next activity and what to do. I want to set it now before it gets too dark. Carl, are you okay? Are you sure? I mean, I'd understand if you aren't. Maybe we should have thought this through more. I can't believe it's fun to be around couples alone. Yes, and then you would have me. <laughs> uh, David, would you come here for a moment? I'll be back soon, and then I will help you with the tents. <laughs> David, I think we should keep the couple things to a minimum. I know Carl doesn't say it, but I can hear his voice. It bothers him. You have to talk to Ava about it because she's more affectionate in public than Mars is, or even me or you. I don't want to make Carl uncomfortable. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Of course you can. What's up? I'd figured you asked me about it. Yes, I'm okay with it. She needs to stop the glares and the snarky comments at Mars. I'm nervous that there will be an argument or something when she gets a few drinks on her. I get it. She's Olivia's friend and seeing me with a new person can be tricky, mainly because it's Mars and the person that Olivia was most jealous of. You know how Mars is. She doesn't take any BS from anyone. Ava is doing it right now. And there's also me, who she will protect. She did it already, but now even more so. Thanks, David. I appreciate it. We should return to the others and put the tents up. Then maybe a few games or something before it's time to sleep? It's your turn, hun. Oof. Sorry, David. That skips your turn. That must burn a little since you were winning. <laughs> okay, so it's either blue or four. Ha! And we have a winner. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just that good. <laughs> you guys play and see who wins next. So far, everything's okay. And everyone seems to enjoy nature and each other's company. Maybe David's talk calmed David down. Hopefully. Oh, sure, you can bring one for me too. Thanks, babe. Yeah, I can play one more round. And then I think we should hit the hay. We leave early tomorrow for the hike. <laughs> of course you did, David. <laughs> of course you forgot. Oh, thank you. Do you want to play another round? Or sit this one out? Okay, Ava, it's your turn to share the cards. No, your boyfriend did it last round. Would you just do it? <laughs> hey! Don't you ever talk to her like that, okay? That's enough. I really thought that you would have listened to your partner when he talked with you. But no, of course not. I'm sick 
of you blaming others still. She hasn't learned that her behavior caused me to leave. It's been months. It's time for her to move on. And for you to stop acting like a five-year-old kid who doesn't get what she wants. Look, I understand that she's your friend, but... No, David. I won't stop. Clearly, she needs to hear this since she didn't listen to you. I will not stand here and listen when she's insulting my partner. Ava... Has Olivia ever told you why I left? What's the real reason? It's not because of Mars, or because I was doing things behind her back, according to you and her, apparently. Then you should understand what's wrong here. Olivia's behaviour wasn't normal, and I do deserve better. Everyone does. Yes, I may have had hidden feelings towards Mars when I was with her, but that doesn't mean I didn't love Olivia. Everyone needs their own space and trust. It wasn't normal that my home was a questioning room more than my home. A space where I should feel safe and warm. Olivia didn't trust me. Or oh, that's how I felt. That's the reason for our breakup. Not Mars. Not any other of my friends. Not that I did something behind her back. Or her behaviour as well. You need to understand that I'm getting tired of repeating and explaining this and open the memories that I don't want to remember you act like it was easy and I just decided to leave you know what I I need a minute are you okay babe okay then I'll be back soon no you can play with the boys. I need a minute alone. And David, keep your partner away from her. Maybe she needs to go to bed or something so she doesn't ruin someone else's mood. Everyone can still see me and I can see them, which is good. I want to keep my eyes on Mars and... I hope she's okay. This is getting too much. She insulted Mars and, and talked disrespectfully to her. And I have received hostile stares. We've been friends for a long time with everyone. And Ava is like a sister to me. But if this continues, I don't know. I just want to be happy with Mars, now that we are together with each other, but of course, I care about my friends too. Hmm? <laughs> hey babe. <laughs> no one else dares hug me from behind, so I know it was you. Yes, I'm okay. And you? Now that we are alone, please tell me if you really are or not. Ava has been nasty to you all day and for no reason, so I can only imagine. <laughs> hey, come on. <laughs> I promise she will calm down eventually. She has to. If she doesn't, we won't have to hang out with her anymore. I know she's a part of the group, but she has to accept us. 
Probably would have to. Babe, it's not you. It's the fact that I'm dating someone other than Olivia. Yes, she may put more fire because it's you, but Ava would react the same way if I dated someone else. It's not you, okay? Come here. Tight hook, there we are. I love you, okay? And that will never change. With, without her approval. You are stuck with me. <laughs> yes, stuck. Mm. Babe, we should go back to the others. Play the last Uno round and then go to sleep. If you want to, of course. I'll talk to her again if she tries something. But David seems to put her to bed. Okay, let's go. My hand? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>